Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Life with Liz. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, that way you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video. So, good morning. Uh, the last, the last video I think, uh, or the last time that I vlogged was, um, I started to have a flare up. The flare up got extremely bad to where I couldn't walk. It's the first time that it's flared up to a point where I felt like if I put any type of weight on my leg, I was going to fall. So it did affect the bottom of my foot. My, I know it's on the right side. Everything was on the right side. The bottom of my foot, the ball of my foot, um, my ankle, my knee, and then, uh, my hand. So, um, I was, uh, I wasn't able to do anything, uh, for about a day and a half. Um, so I did not vlog. And then, um, yesterday evening, um, Gingy ended up getting sick. Um, she came home, she had her game and I was unable to attend her game because I was, I was sick. Um, I, I couldn't make it. There's no way I could, I couldn't even walk out of the room. I had to lay on the couch because I wasn't able to get uh, up and down off of our bed. So, um, <clears throat> I didn't make Gingy's game, which, uh, I was very disappointed that I couldn't make it. They did win, but I, I couldn't make the game. Um, then Gingy came home. She was good. And then the next day she, she was sick. She started to get sick. Um, she was just coughing. She wasn't running a fever or anything. So I thought, you know, it's just a change of weather. It's not a big deal. So I went to check on her early this morning and she was like, my chest is hurting. So I got Gabby ready, sent her on her way and, uh, got myself together and took Gingy into the doctor. And because she has a cough, uh, and her, uh, her chest is hurting, they consider those, you know, COVID, um, um, symptoms. So, uh, a doctor will be calling us. So we went down there for nothing. Um, from there I did go to, um, I went and got gas, uh, I gassed up the car, uh, went to Walmart and then I picked up Gatorade, Sprite, you know, stuff that, um, for her to have here to be able to eat. And before I left, I asked Art, I said, Hey, are you not going to work? And he was like, I don't feel good. So I took his temperature. He did not have a temperature, but he's coughing as well. So I have a house full of sick people. Just, well, I shouldn't say house full, but two of the four of us are sick. Um, so Gabby did go to school and Gabby is not sick at all. Um, yesterday evening, we actually had a really good evening. Um, me and Gabby, we, um, we got some popcorn. I took her a bath, uh, got her ready for bed. Uh, I was able to do that yesterday because <laughs> the day before I was not. Um, uh, I took her a bath. Uh, we watched a couple movies. Uh, we ended up watching Monsters, Inc., <laughs> which was the last one that we watched. Um, she had, uh, we were watching, um, a movie we got I made popcorn for us we had popcorn we watched first it was a little bit of TV and then we watched Monsters Inc and then by the time that we watched Monsters Inc I had fed her dinner way earlier and then when we got to Monsters Inc she was like can I have a snack so uh, I got her some milk and cookies and then finally she was like I'm I'm ready for bed that's the good thing about Gabby when it's time to go to bed she'll go to bed and she lets us know like tuck me in so I went and, and tucked her in and I stayed up for a little bit longer and then I went to bed, got up this morning, checked on Gingy, and now here we are. So just waiting on the doctor to call to um, so that we can figure out what's going on with her. If um, for some reason it's, they're just not doing anything and then it's just like, oh, we'll take this, take that. The fact that her chest is hurting is what's concerning to me. The cough isn't as concerning as her chest hurting. I don't want her to get pneumonia. Because Angelina does have, um, she has asthma. So I don't know if, you know, the cough and the asthma, because she, she did have to take some pumps of the inhaler. I don't know if that's, you know, if that's what's causing the, the, the chest pain. So we'll see what the doctor says right now. But if she continues to um, 
get sick or get worse, I'm, I'll just take her to urgent care. But for now, we are back home and just waiting on the doctor to give us a call. So, um, still early in the morning, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make some breakfast, I guess for myself. Art's not hungry. He says he, he can't eat right now. Gingy said, yeah, and I'm, I'm not hungry. She had a soup earlier. Um, she did have soup earlier, so that's probably why she's not hungry. Gabby's gone. I fed her and sent her on her way, so I just made myself uh, some coffee finally and um i'm gonna make some breakfast here so i'll show you guys what i'm making really quick too before i forget so obviously you guys see that i'm here at home so the day that i started with um where i couldn't move i obviously did not go to my mom and dad's uh i've been calling them i called them like two or three times a day just to make sure that they're okay and um like this morning i've already called them asked asking them if they need anything um to make sure and i told him you know so i don't whatever gingy has um whether it's a cold the flu my mom gets sick right away so i don't want to take that over there to them so it kind of sucks that uh i can't go over there but i mean i do have to take care of gingy and i do have to take care of them i don't want either one to be sick so i have not been going over to my mom and dad's they actually wanted to come over here to check on me the day that um, I was really, really sick. I shouldn't say sick, the day that I was having a really bad flare up. So, um, but I told them no, I didn't want them driving. Um, the weather was really ugly that day and I just didn't want them driving. So um, yeah, I'm unable to go to my mom and dad's right now, but um, they seem to be doing okay. Uh, my dad is doing really good. My mom's foot is doing, you know, a little better. So, um, it just sucks that I can't go over there. Um, I do, I do miss going over there and I told my mom, you know, as soon as Junji gets better, um, I'll, I'll go back to my routine of going over there. But for now, here I am. <laughs> All right. So I do have a boulder of a potato here. Um, that I'm going to cut up and I'm going to make some uh, papas. Uh, there's some bacon there so I'll make, some, make myself some bacon. Um, there's going to be a lot of potatoes. But I'm just going to cut these up and get these going. So this, that boulder made about this, this much potatoes. So hopefully I'm going to season them. Hopefully, um, maybe here once they're done or, or it starts to smell the food, he'll say he wants them too. So just going to season these up with my trusty garlic salt. And I'm going to go ahead and get them going on the stove. All right, so I do have my pan here uh, with some oil. So I'm going to go ahead and put my potatoes in. And while these go, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my other burner here so I can get the bacon going. All right, so I did switch pans so I can have um, the bacon closer here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding bacon to my pan. And again, just going to make a little extra just in case somebody else wants some. Go ahead and let the bacon cook, let the potatoes cook, I'll be back. 
All right, so my papas are done. I am pulling off my bacon. I do have one last little piece there. I do like crispy bacon. So just gonna wait for this last little piece to be done. And I'll make my eggs, I'll be back. So my bacon is done. I went ahead and um, took out most of the bacon grease from here, but I am gonna go ahead and make my eggs in there. So I did fit my egg. It is already done, or my eggs, they are already done. I'm going to go ahead and serve myself, and it sounds like Gingy it does want to eat. Move this out of the way over here. So I'm going to go ahead and give her uh, some potatoes and bacon is what she wants. see how she tolerates that all right so this is what my plate is looking like I'm just gonna add crystal to the eggs and potatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and eat I'm not gonna do a taste test for you guys because this is already looks delicious I know it's gonna be good so I'm gonna go enjoy it uh, along with my coffee I'll be back Oh, it's bright out here. All right, guys. So I'm on my way to the school. Um, my grand, they called me about my grandson, so I gotta go pick him up. But now my daughter's calling me. Hey, guys. So <laughs> it's me and Gabby. Say hey, Gabby. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> there you go. So it's been a crazy day today. Uh, my grandson he, he I don't know what he was doing yesterday after school they did uh, something he got in trouble I'm not gonna go into detail about that because it's not my business to tell but I had to go pick him up and mm -hmm. uh, sign some stuff for him then call his mom and it was just that was a big hassle and then came home and Art and Gingy are still sick. Gingy's doing way better today, uh, this afternoon, this evening. She's doing a lot better. Uh, still just having soup. Uh, Art has not eaten all day. He does not want to eat. He helped me. But I have been giving him medicine and, and water. Um, I've asked him several times. He does not want to eat. So he says he's not hungry. He feels like he's going to throw up. So... I'm trying to stay away from him. <laughs> that sounds awful, but you know what I mean. I'm not trying to get sick. Um, so me and Gabby, they all had soup and me and Gabby. What did me and Gabby have? Tacos and burritos. <laughs> I had to go pick up uh, Gingy's prescription because the doctor finally called back. So uh, they prescribed her some medication. So they prescribed her uh, uh, some cough syrup. Um, <laughs> antibiotics and oh and Tylenol I was trying to think what else it was something <laughs> else and Tylenol so um, the cough medicine uh, she'll <laughs> take that before she goes to bed because it will knock her out and then um, what else we were just me and Gabby were just watching TV and talking and eating some candy <laughs> and now she says she's tired so I'm coming to bring her to bed and uh she told me to lay with her so I thought oh you know what I'll, I'll vlog I'll, <laughs> I'll vlog this silly cat while she's going to bed 
<laughs> oh, Miss Gabby. She had a good day at school today. Yeah. Had a great day at school today. <laughs> but yeah, it's still a busy day. I, when I went to go pick up the prescription, oh my God, there was a horrific line. And I was, oh God. I almost thought to myself, like, why? I thought, should I just get down instead? Is it going to be any different? And when I got to the window, there was a long line inside, too. So I was like, ah, oh, good thing I didn't go in. <sighs> I guess I'm tired, too. Are you tired, Miss Gabby? You ready for night nights? A, A, do the washing machine. A, 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 A. It's been me and this girl all afternoon since she got home from school because, you know, everybody else is sick. So I can't don't want to be around anybody and mm -hmm. uh, don't want her around anybody because I don't want her getting sick. Huh, Miss Gabby? <coughs> no, don't want to get sick, huh? Who wants to get sick? No. Not me either. Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. no, thank you. No. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to get sick. No. <laughs> Dad got sick. Who else got sick? Mm -hmm. Gingy got sick. <laughs> You're so silly. You're a silly cat. Yeah, so I didn't get much vlogging done today, but I did get to, uh, to spend uh, some good time with this girl right here. She's been making me laugh for a while already. Uh, <laughs> overall, it was it was a good day aside from everybody being sick. And then <laughs> she's so silly. You're so silly. But I'm going to go ahead and tuck her in. I may call it a night already, too. Uh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um guess I'm tired too. I didn't think I was, but I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> so tell everybody good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's another great day. <sighs> yeah. All right, baby. Give me a visit. I love you. See you in the morning, okay? See you in the morning. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it a night. We shall be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's making breakfast? Not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's eating? Who's eating breakfast? Mm -hmm. Gabby, then Gabby needs to cook some breakfast. What? <laughs> you cooking breakfast? What are you making? What are you making? I'm making a heart. What? A heart. A heart? Yeah. Girl. A heart. That's cute. Heart. Yeah. Aww, a heart for me. <laughs> Can I eat the heart? What's the heart going to be made out of? Is it a pancake? You don't even like pancakes. You can't make me eggs because you can't touch them. What are you going to make me? Some cereal? I'll take some coffee. Can I have some coffee? With a besito? Yeah. Yeah. You want to share a coffee with me in the morning? Yeah. Okay, we'll have a cup of coffee and watch some TV in the morning. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We are going to call it a night. And we'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So Art ended up going to work this morning. Uh, he still wasn't feeling well. Um, he took a shower and then went on off to work and I told him he, he should have waited another day. But he said that there was stuff at work that needed to be done and he's the only one that can get it done. So um, 
unfortunately he ended up going in hopefully it doesn't make him more sick but um i did pump him full of medicine yesterday so uh hopefully hopefully that helped him and i don't even know if he took any today because he was not happy this morning um so now i'm on my way to my mom and dad's because uh, i'm the one that's been filling their um my dad's uh, prescription uh, prescription is medication uh box and um since i haven't been there good thing that i'm on top of it and you know i i fill it for longer than i need to but so his pill box is empty so i'm going over there to go check and i i called in refills last week completely forgot about them so <sighs> yeah i gotta go take care of all of that right now so I told my mom that I would wear a mask because I don't want to get them sick um, and that way I can go ahead and get their stuff taken care of um, because my dad's medicine is important and if I have to if I have to I guess I'll have to call the doctor's uh, office to get the the prescriptions filled <sighs> because I don't know I don't know what else I can do with that Hopefully, hopefully they give them even just a couple just until, I'm sorry about the camera, I'm just trying to open and close my gate so I can leave. Um, hopefully they can give him a couple of uh, pills just to tide him over uh, until, uh, until Monday. And the crazy thing is, is that I think the medication that he needs refills on is medication that he got from the hospital. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> it's medication that he got from the hospital, so I don't know if they're gonna refill it or not. The cardiologist, um, he just saw the cardiologist, so I don't know if by calling the cardiologist that will take care of that. So. Well, either way, I'm on my way. Somehow, some way, one way or another, I'm gonna get it taken care of. And then that way I can come back and um, do what I gotta do here at home. But uh, Gingy is feeling better today, way better today. Uh, and Art, we'll see what he says when he gets home from work. But I shall be back. All right, so I just, came out of my mom and dad's um so he had no more refills left on that prescription on the there was three three prescriptions but i was able to get a hold of his primary doctor and he was kind enough to go ahead and fill the prescriptions even though they did not come uh, uh initially from him but he did uh he did do it without my dad having to go in which was nice so um yeah the prescription will be ready they said in about two hours so i'll come back and get that filled for them in the meantime i'm gonna go home finish taking care of what i was doing over there um uh i did mask up because i don't want to get them sick uh whatever it is that we've got i mean i'm not sick but you never know so i do not want to get them sick um so i'm gonna head back home and i'll meet you guys there all right so today i'm gonna make some uh like a, a steak but it's like thin strips of, of meat with potatoes in a chili sauce and some rice and beans i have my beans already cooking back there behind me in my pressure cooker so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get the sauce together first for sorry for the shakiness um i'm gonna get the sauce together first for um for my carne so uh let me go ahead and set that up so I do have some tomatoes here. So I'm probably going to do about maybe three. Three tomatoes. And I'm going to do some jalapenos and serranos. But let me get those washed up and then I will show you uh, what I do with them and get them going in this pot. All right, so I went ahead and washed my stuff. I did um, three jalapenos and um, 
for serranos i'm putting my tomatoes in there i'm gonna put go ahead and put water to cover this i'm gonna boil it and um i'll end up blending it but i'll show you when that time comes all right so i do have ranchera meat here that i'm gonna go ahead and cut up so let me get let me get that going here i do um because it is quite a bit of uh meat i don't want to take forever uh cutting it because i am going to cut it into like some thinner strips so i kind of get it all together and then i find some of this that's a little fattier and i go ahead and trim that off What I do is I roll it and I just cut it into strips. So then once you cut it that way, it gives you, you know, some nice little strips. And if you want, you can cut it uh, even smaller. So they're about uniform size. Let me get a let me get a bowl so I can throw that in. All right. I should have just cut it while it was rolled up, but I'll do that on the next one. So those are all decent pieces. So in these, I'm just cutting that in half and throwing that in there. So you just cut uh, one of these little circles, cut the little circle in half, and that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the this meat. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if I have it too far up, but let me do it one more time and I'll show you guys. And then you guys, I'll go ahead and fast forward it. So I just, once I have it rolled up, I cut a slice that'll make like a little circle. I cut that in half and then that gives me some little strips. So this is how much meat I got with the just what I've used so far. So I'm not going to use all of the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, get the meat put away, and I'll be back. Okay, so I don't know if that got recorded or not, but uh, I don't know why it's been doing that a lot. Um, I found a bell pepper. I went ahead and cut that up into strips. Uh, bell pepper is totally optional if you want to put it in or not i love bell pepper so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, add it in it's a bell pepper i found in there so i thought you know what why not i'm gonna add it um i am gonna cut up an onion as well in uh, slices and i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my stove and let that um let that go for now let that warm up while I get this going. So I'm just going to do slices and then cut the slices in half. Kind of like the meat. I think that is good enough. All right. Let me move this over. Let me grab my seasonings for my meat and I'll be right back. All right. So to the meat, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, garlic powder. And you know I love a lot of garlic powder. I'm 
All right, so garlic powder. Uh, I'm going to add some of this Montreal steak seasoning. All right, I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to go ahead and get it in the pot. So it cut off again, I do apologize. Um, I just had my pan here with a little bit of oil and I went ahead and threw the meat in there. So what I started talking, looked up and realized it wasn't recording. So I'm gonna let that go ahead and start to cook up. My tomatoes and chiles are already boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that up with a little bit of onion and garlic. So that'll be the sauce for this once it's ready. And I'm also going to make uh, tomato sauce for a little bit. I'm going to make a little bit of rice with this. So I'll be back. All right. So I'm going to come and give the meat a stir now. I've left it alone for a little bit. While I was getting the rest of my stuff together. So I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, a mix. Let's get that other side cooked up. Now that I've turned that and mixed that over, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tomato sauce ready for my rice. All right. Really quick, I took some of my uh, broth that I have frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and get that going um, for my rice. And I'm gonna go step by step with you guys on my rice. Uh, I was asked again Sorry, I thought I had my stuff over here. I was asked again about my rice, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do. You can use tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is perfectly fine to use. It is totally up to you. Um, Art and the kids prefer fresh tomato, so I do take a whole tomato. I do have it in uh, fours. I just didn't cut it all the way through. So I'll put that in there. And then I am using about half of an onion and uh, garlic. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use uh, a little bit more than half. And then I'm going to add water. And I'm going to get this blended. And I'll be back. All right. So this is what it looks like when it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into a jar for now until my rice is ready. So I can use the blender to make the sauce for the, for the meat. All right, so for the sauce, I do have onion in my blender. I went ahead and threw onion in there. I'm putting garlic in, and then let me grab let me put this down there. I thought I was gonna have more room. Let me just move this stuff back. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes and chilies that I boiled earlier, which is the jalapenos the, and, the, and the serranos. Also going to add some of the water that I used to boil these in. All right. All right. So I'm going to get this blended, and it'll just be ready for um, when my meat is done. All right. So the sauce is done. So I'm going to go ahead and push that back and bring you guys back over here so you guys can see the meat. So that's 
it's looking really good so it's almost ready for the sauce that I made all right so because it's almost ready I'm going to go ahead and jump in the um, onions and bell peppers and I'm going to let that um, cook through as well I'm going to go ahead and let that go. We'll be back. All right. So now I'm getting you guys uh, closer over here for the rice. Move some of this other stuff. Jesus. All right. So I do have a little bit of oil in my pan. I've got that going. And then uh, I always... I always eyeball the rice, but uh, I went ahead and put it in a big bowl so I can measure it and then I can let you guys know exactly uh, what the measurements are. Alright, so these are half cups. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting it in. It's a little less than a cup, so I'm going to add a little more. So that's about two cups of rice that I threw in there. So for me, I think that that part of it is good. So then, um, all I do is I just let this brown. Um, you know, I brown the rice. So you, you do have to keep moving it. Um, so that it doesn't burn and you keep moving it you keep moving it until it um, until it gets this nice golden brown color and then you go ahead and you add your sauce which we've already made I'll show you how to make that and then uh, once you add your sauce you'll be adding your broth I have it over here already uh, it's already starting to boil so just gonna let this start browning and in the meantime let's go ahead and check on uh, on the meat all right so this is what the meat is looking like so I think this is ready for uh, for the sauce so I'm gonna go ahead and get the sauce jumped in there So we just add the sauce and kind of mix it. And at the same time, don't forget about your rice because I already hear it sizzling. You don't want to burn it. All right. So I am going to add a little bit of water to that to thin it out. Um, to thin out the the meat the not the meat the the chile and I did use the blender got some of the stuff off the blender all right and I think that that's good all right so then I'm just gonna let that um, boil up a little bit make sure that the meat is tender and then I'm going to cut up some potatoes to go ahead and throw in here as well so I'm going to get back to the rice make sure that I don't burn my rice all right so as you can see this is starting to boil so now um, this is the time where we're going to go ahead and taste it for salt and go ahead and add salt as needed
I think it could use just a little more salt, so I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, so I'm happy with that. So just go ahead and add your salt and don't ever forget about your rice. That will burn. All right, so I'm going to let that go again while I finish up my rice. All right, so it looks like my rice is ready. This is done. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sauce sorry i'm trying not to i got it anyway to steam you guys out there we go last bit that I used um, it was just water to clean out my my jar there but now that we've mixed it I'm gonna go ahead and add my broth that I have boiling back here so we'll start off with about that much Again, um, as far as the measurements go, I do apologize. Maybe I should have used a measuring cup for that as well. But when you do use uh, the chicken broth, I do not use. Um, so usually in the tomato sauce, I will add like the chicken bouillon. But um, because I was using broth that already has, you know, it's already salted. So I always wait until... I have it in with the rice to see if it needs any more and right now it's looking like it does not so I'm going to go ahead and cover that and let that come up to a boil I guess I should get all this rice down that's up here I thought I had gotten it all down Cover that, let that come back up to a boil, and then I will lower it. Another good thing, even if you're just using water. All right, so for your rice, even if you're just using water, sorry, my camera's being flimsy right now. Uh, even if you're just using water, if you boil it before you put it in, it keeps the rice at a consistent heat. So your rice comes out way better, fluffier. Like the rice, I just put the stuff in there, that's already boiling. So I can go ahead and turn down the heat. And that'll that'll give you, um, you don't have to constantly be checking it. Everything's consistent. And so you just lower it and let it keep going. If it needs more broth, I still have my broth going, you know, really low. So it stays hot. And I'll add more if I need to add more. If I don't, then it's, it's fine. But it's going and uh, it has enough salt. It has all of that but it keeps it consistent so that you have a perfect rice every time all right so this is what the meat is looking like it's looking really good so um i did cut up a couple of potatoes i think it was like three small potatoes so i'm going to go ahead and add the papas in And I go ahead and mix this around and then as soon as these papas are soft uh, this this is done all right so I'm gonna let that go until the potatoes are soft I'll be back 
All right, so I'm about to check on my rice. So it's looking good. It looks like it does need just a little more um, liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more. And you never ever mix your rice. You can take from the side and move it towards the middle, but don't ever mix your rice. It'll get it super mushy. You don't want mushy rice. So let that go. And the next time I check it, it should be done. All right, so I went ahead and moved the meat back there. Rice is done. Meat is basically done. I can go ahead and turn that bad boy off. I have some, um, a little bit of uh, bacon grease in here. And I'm going to go ahead and get my beans going in there. Get a little bit of liquid. I'm going to add a little bit of the bean juice in there. Just a little bit to get it going. All right, so I'm gonna let these boil up. I'll be back. All right, so I did serve Miss Gabby. Here's her plate. How is it, Miss Gabby? Are you even eating it yet? No? <laughs> it's too hot? Okay, I'll blow on it for you right now. How is it? Besides, Super hot. It's good. Yeah. How is it, Gingy? It's really good. <laughs> How are you feeling? Like crap. Yeah. But I'm feeling a little better. That's good. I'm glad. Well, Art hasn't eaten in like a day, so he's finally going to eat. So hopefully it settles his stomach and he can get uh, he can get better quicker. Gingy too. Gingy's been eating, but. <laughs> Maybe I haven't eaten in two days. That's what I just said. Did I say a day or two days or whatever? Yeah, days. since well, what's today? Friday? Since Wednesday. Wednesday night was the last time you ate. Yeah. Alright guys. I guess I was hungry because I forgot to vlog my reaction to my food. I just started tearing it up. I'm almost done. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Obviously. Everything was really good. Everything was still super hot right now um, that we ate. But definitely a yummy meal. We had um, flour tortillas with it. So, um, yeah, everybody, everybody's happy, including me. So now I will finish eating the little bit I have left and I'll be back. All right, guys, so we all finished eating. I cleaned up the kitchen, washed up all the dishes, put the food away. Uh, uh, dinner was so yummy. It was it was really good. Uh, it was a good, good choice for today. But that does conclude today's video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel mm -hmm. if you haven't already. Um, Make sure you turn on your post notifications. That way you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new <laughs> video. I'm trying to tell her to be quiet so I can just turn the camera and put it on her. She's giggling and making noise, trying to lean in. <laughs> so she's, I'm, I was editing uh, the little bit that I had just done right now. I was trying to edit and so uh, she's like, can we go watch a movie in your room? Can we watch a movie in your bed, in your room? So I'm like, yes, we'll go watch a movie right now. I go, I'm almost done. I'm like, 10 more minutes. And she's like, 10 more minutes? Yes, 10 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, and you ready to go watch a movie? Yeah. We're going to be besties watching movies? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then tell them, thanks for watching. Till next time. <laughs> And thank you. And thank you. Oh, you're so nice. Good manners. <gasps> she said, thank you. We love you. 
<laughs> you have such good manners. I love it. <laughs> so tell me, that concludes today's video. Can you say that? Maybe not. Okay, so that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. <laughs> she didn't subscribe to my mom's channel. <laughs> right away. <laughs> this girl. All right, Tom. See ya. See ya. <laughs> What? What are you mumbling now? Okay, we're gonna go chillax. So stop talking so I can end the video. <laughs> All right, guys. Now for sure. Thanks for watching. Till next time. <laughs>